I just had Andy in the UK ask me an interesting question about oil filter change on his 190SL. And we are going to discuss the later oil filter, which is uh, uh, post-1958. Uh, this is the oil filter that goes right in the canister. The earlier version had an oil filter that went inside a metal screen and then all that went into a um, the canister. The big difference is that version has a, a big pipe coming out of the top of it here. So we're just going to discuss the later version. And what Andy was asking about was um, the, the various bits that are shown here and uh, what uh, came in the kit and what didn't come in the kit and the oil filter kit. So here's the oil filter. These are variations uh, from different manufacturers. Any one of these is a great kit. Uh, and what's inside the kit besides oil filter, and no, it doesn't matter which end goes up, is your seal kit right here. And the confusing item is this copper washer right here, the small copper washer is uh, does not go on the 190SL. That is a oil cooler seal for the uh, uh, drain plug on the oil cooler on six cylinder cars like 280SLs, 280SE, 280SEL. This is uh, for your uh, oil uh, pan drain plug or the, uh, as Andy says, the sump uh, drain plug. This is a steel washer, and that goes right here, number 51, and that goes on the bolt and seals up against the bottom of the canister. Not quite sure why they use steel down there, but that's what they used. Uh, obviously, this O-ring here is the very large O-ring that goes in the canister and is represented number 47. Remember, only one O-ring in here at a time, so that when this goes back together, it looks like that. Sometimes people don't realize there's an O-ring in there and stack another one on top of it, and that will make this thing sit real high. It will actually seal up, but it puts a lot of pressure on this upper lip, and that can crack sometimes. Now then, other confusing items. These seals right here. Number 42 is this seal right here and there's the part number for it triple zero one eighty four thirty three eighty and the representation in the picture is not terribly accurate because it's a thick thick seal and where that one goes is up underneath the adapter that bolts onto the block and that goes right in here like this and of course your oil filter is going to dovetail onto it like that and so you want to change this one whenever it feels hard just put your finger up on there and if it if it isn't feeling squishy then pry it off and uh, replace it but it does not come in the kit, so you have to order that from Mercedes, and that's why I gave you the part number. Now then, at the bottom is this part here, triple zero one eighty four seventeen eighty, represented by part number forty four, and that goes down inside the canister. You can see it down inside here. And that's the part that goes down there. What I do is use a couple of screwdrivers, get on either side of the, um, um, the rubber. And this is a this is, represents a metal cap right here, and then this right here is the rubber, and this rubber slips underneath that metal cap with this thin lip. And when it's time to change these things, you'll know because uh, when you go in there to pry it off with a, um, uh, a couple of screwdrivers, this rubber will just split and, and come out in one or two pieces. And then you just take your, um, your new part, 
put it down inside there and use a couple of screwdrivers to kind of wedge it underneath this cap. Now the confusing part comes with number 45, which is hidden. Number 45 is actually underneath the cap and down inside here. So if you take this probe, you can actually feel number 45 inside there. There's a little small rubber O-ring that uh, the only thing I can figure out that it does is it holds the bolt in place so that when you remove the, the canister and bolt as a unit, the bolt just doesn't drop out and open up this hole and, and uh, make a, a mess. The, the bolt stays in canister. Other than that, I don't think it has any real great use because any any sealing between the bolt and the canister is handled by number 51 your steel washer in order to replace the small o-ring number 45 you've got to remove your rubber seal right here 44 and then you've got to pr physically pry this metal cap up and off the problem is that sometimes it doesn't want to go back on after you've uh, replaced your seal inside here and so it, it'll be floppy loose not a problem as soon as assuming you can make sure that everything goes back together even if it's just by place, placing the metal washer in in its spot and then very carefully putting the oil filter in and bolting everything together so generally I don't recommend removing the metal cap and replacing the seal inside here because it doesn't do you any good and actually can make trouble for you. And that, I think, should explain everything. Any questions, just ask. Thank you.